What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast and today we are doing an install on something in the race trailer over here. So I'm very excited to do that and we have had a little bit of nice weather and I'm kind of walking away from the trailer right now because I am very excited. Those of you who don't know, right here, this whole area from the RV and a little bit beyond is going to be the brand new Hammerdown Motorsports Garage. Now, I know I mentioned in my last video, but if those of you didn't see that, now you know we have very big things coming here on the channel. I can't wait to actually have a place to work, and I'm gonna share more of my mechanical knowledge and stuff like that with you guys out there, and we're gonna be doing some bigger projects like stuff with the trucks that I'm gonna be able to tear them down inside the shop in a nice clean environment where I have all my tools and air compressor and all that good stuff. So it's gonna be big, big things happening here on Hammerdown Motorsports. We're not gonna be subject to weather and all all that kind of stuff that totally plagues us YouTubers, but we get plagued by weather and noise and timing schedules and all that kind of crazy stuff. So this is gonna kind of eliminate some of that. Also, it's gonna keep the stuff like the camper, the snowmobiles, all that stuff inside so we can work on them, keep them clean, keep it nice, keep everything the way it should be and make some amazing things happen out here. So let's get started with today's install. So today we're gonna be installing some brand new seven inch work lights. And these are by a company called NAO and they actually sent me these and I was trying to decide what I'm gonna do with these because they do have so many different uses they have a universal bracket on the back here you can kind of twist and turn them and mount them whichever which way whichever way you want your light to be and I kind of thought on the top of the trailer I might have some spotlights or something like that but after thinking for a while I didn't really think I was going to use that all that much and I didn't really want to kind of drill holes in the side of the trailer or on the roof or any of that kind of stuff so like I said these lights are made by a company called NAO and I will have all their information in the description if you guys want to grab a set of these and we're going to be testing them and showing you guys how they work and how I'm going to wire them up and all that good stuff so stay tuned. So now to mount our lights, I'm going to be using this piece of angle aluminum and we're going to be putting it right up here. I'm going to have to take down my Alberta license plate and reconfigure that. But just on a side note, if anybody wants to send license plates or stickers or flags or banners or any of that kind of stuff for the race trailer, I will definitely put it up. Just drop it in the PO box and I'll definitely give you a shout out on the channel. This place is getting a little bit more decorated, but could definitely use a little bit more flair. So after some careful consideration and drilling a couple extra holes that I'm probably not gonna be using currently, I've decided to go a little bit higher up with our bracket because if I were to put the lights kind of right here is where I was thinking, they're a little bit too close to the work surface and I just think that if we put them up a little bit higher, we're gonna have a lot more coverage area of our light and it's just gonna give us a whole lot better result in the end and we're able to hide our wires a little bit better. So I think this is the route I'm gonna end up going. So after a bunch of drilling and use of self tappers, I have a big mess all over the bench, but we do have our piece of angle aluminum in place. The screws are nicely hidden behind because we drilled into this piece of truss. It's all aluminum, it's an aluminum trailer. So got that nicely tucked away up there. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna drill into the bottom of this and mount our lights. And when you order these lights, you do receive a universal style mount. So you basically all you have to do is drill a hole the size of the mounting bolt. Comes with the Allen key to tighten the bolts that go actually into the light. And then you have your lock nut and washer and all that kind of stuff that's gonna go on the back side to keep these nicely in place. So let's drill some more holes and get these into place. So I got my hole drilled. I use an 11 32nd drill bit, which is a little bit on the big side, but allows our bolt to get through nicely. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten up these two bolts with the Allen key provided. And basically all you wanna do, is just mock up your light, put it in place. And you can kinda of see where exactly you wanna position your light before you put it in place. I'm basically just gonna put it right in the middle. I kinda of wanted to get it so I had a light as far apart from each other as possible without kinda of being on the end of the bracket just because when we are driving the trailer I don't want this thing rattling around and coming loose. So if we put it in the middle I think it's gonna eliminate most of the rattling and we should be good to go. So the first light is mounted up as you can see it has a very nice fit and finish to it and the light's gonna shine directly down on the bench where I want it and the way that these brackets are you're able to twist this light up and down and you can have it either way depending on which way you attach it to the light. So now that we've got our lights mounted it's time to talk a little bit about our wiring now it's nice on these lights that they do give you a fairly long pigtail with a nice insulated cord so you can kind of route it around where you need it to be and you don't have to fight with a small amount of wire like some lights tend to have. The way I attach this one is so I would have the pigtail for the wiring 
kind of off to this side so I can wrap it up here without it having any sharp edges getting in the way. And then we can tie up the wiring as it goes along here. So since I wanted both of these lights to come on at the same time with the same switch, I ended up wiring them together. And my wiring up here, I covered with tape. I just gave it a kind of a, a quick twist with the roll of tape just so everything's nicely protected. But as for keeping our wires nicely tucked away up top here, we do have two different options. Now I have these here, which are basically, you can run a zip tie through any which way, and it has a little piece of protective film on the back, which you remove, and then it's got two-sided tape. So you clean the surface, you can stick these to pretty much anything, and you're able to just kind of run a zip tie through, hold your wire in place, and works really, really nicely, especially for an indoor application. Now, if you need a little bit more hold, we do have these here. These use a screw, and basically, like if you're in a rough area where the two-sided tape isn't gonna work, like underneath a vehicle or something like that, this will work really nicely for that as well. So now as we look at our little diagram here that directly crosses over to our relay itself and the little wiring harness that it came with. Now our red wire is gonna go to our battery positive. Our blue wire is gonna go off to our lights. Our black wire is gonna go to ground and our white wire is gonna be our signal from our switch. So now all we have to do is throw the switch and see what happens. There we go, we have lights. Wow, that is pretty amazing. As you can see, the LED light, this is a combo light. It's got spot and flood. So we got a really nice clean light on our bench and this is gonna work perfectly. I do have regular lighting in this trailer. It only works when the generator is connected. So if you're on the side of the road and you're just relying on your battery source or the connectivity of the truck, you don't have much more light than this guy right here. And as you can see, I turned off the main lights there. It only throws a little bit of light in kind of this area here, which is okay if you're gonna check straps or things like that, or maybe a grab a tool out of the toolbox. But now having these lights above the bench is a very, very nice feature. So we have the before and the after. And that is a world of a difference. There is one thing I wanted to add about this system and I'm gonna be putting in a fuse holder on the positive side just so we can have that circuit protection in case we end up with a short or anything like that. We're not gonna have any kind of problems with burning up wires or fires and any of that kind of stuff that we don't wanna have when it comes to electrical. So always have circuit protection in your system and we will be adding that before the system's all done. Well, it looks like we're running out of daylight today, so we will be finishing up the rest of this install another day. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and keep that hammer down.